Hey, what's going on? It's Cairo. We're back in standard best of one doing some ranked gameplay in platinum here with Orzov control for murders of Karlov manor standard. We've got some old goodies. We've got some new goodies. The new ones are deadly cover up. No witnesses and long goodbye so we've got a new sweeper we've got another new sweeper and we've got a really good removal spell that can't be countered by ward or countered by the uh, various azorius control builds that are out there right now the top two meta decks you have right now in aggro best of one are mono red and boros convoke this deck is specifically built to destroy both of those and i hope you enjoy the gameplay thank you for liking thanks for subscribing the deck list is below and i'll see you at magic con chicago in one week from now i'll be doing a guest spot on saturday so check the magic the gathering twitter if you want to stop by if you're attending i would love to see you thanks again see you next time all right, we're going first. Three lands, I like it. Two Sorens, not so much. Farewell and Wedding Announcement are very good, though. So we can definitely keep this. Fortress in. Little tappy tappy fortress. One four good blocker. All right, mono red. Here we go, baby. Let's do it. Let's do this, mono red. Deadly cover up, not the best sweeper to draw for mono red. Would have preferred to no know witnesses, but, you know, here we are. Let's do some Soren. Let's do some 2 3 lifelink. Maybe some blocking. Bing, bing. If we draw a land, we'll get a vampire in. If we don't, try to hit Takashi's welcome, get to turn five. Blast out a deadly cover up. Six damage. We're going to ten. We're going to eight. Seven. Oh, really? That could work out in our favor, actually. Because this becomes a, what, 4-4 four, four dragon that whenever a dragon attacks deals two damage to any target. Right? Yes. All right. So... Let's do this. Let's hope they don't have any burn. Lifelink Vampire is our only option with a 1-1 one, one chump blocker. And then hopefully we draw land, deadly cover up, then we recover from there. So they can attack with their Thunder Maw, deal two damage to our token or to our face. I guess that's what they're determining now. They're all going at Soren. What? Okay. 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 Two damage. Where's it going? What? Okay. Me, me, Soren. Soren can make another life-linking vampire, so I think we're going to go with this, this, four, five, six, seven, gain two. They want to bring the Phoenix Chick back, though. So what do we gain by doing vampire on Thunder Maw, letting Soren, we can't let Soren die. We just gotta hope we draw a land and wipe. Oh, really? Yes. We stabilize. We make the flying vampire. They don't have removal. Um, now it's a four toughness vampire. Oh yeah. I'm only attacking... No, no, no. Let's see. Yeah, I'm attacking with the lifelinker. Bring in Takashi as welcome. I don't think there's a way that Mono Red comes back from that. I don't think so. Kumano and it's Sushi.
comes that sushi. Let's see. What's the death trigger? Exile top two cards, create three treasures. Okay, it's worth it. I think that's going to be a concede. If it's not a concede, this person has a hell of a lot of willpower. Mountain, Phoenix Chick. Okay. They're at 17. We're going in here. We're going Soarin', baby. Lifelink's the name of the game. You fight for me now. You fight for me now. Soren's always talking that mess. Stay your hand, mortal. I feel like Soren's always like this. Stay your hand, mortal. Look at him. What's one more grudge? Okay. Uh, in we go. Didn't play a land yet. Good game. Let's grab a planes. So we have Wandering Emperor mana, right? No, we did play a land. Kumano. Yeah, they know, but they're just being a good sport about it. They're like, yeah, it's fine. All right, good game, Mono Red. What's one more grudge? All right, we're going first with a Swamp, Shattered Sanctum, Deadly Cover-Up, Sanctuary Warden, Wedding Announcement, Destroy Evil. That's not going to be enough lands. We have too many high-cost things in our hand. All right, this is a little better. So we have a Cut Down in case we're against Mono Red or Boros Convoke or any form of aggro, frankly. And then we have... Takashi is welcome. Wedding announcement. That's worth a lot of cards. They're both three drops, but we can definitely deal with this. This will be fine. All right, we're keeping six. We're cutting down one of the cut downs. We're going to go Takanuma turn one so we have access to it in case we're fighting aggro. Swamp, swamp. I hear you. All right, Shattered Sanctum. No reason to show or play the Murex yet. We don't have a two drop. It's a cavern bat. Uh, you'll just kill it. So they get to look at our hand. That's about it. Well, Takachi is welcome first. So we get maximum utility off of our wedding announcement here. Okay. Can't play a land this turn. Hopefully we draw one. All right, cool. Long goodbye for the Preacher of the Schism. Or we just wait and do a deadly cover-up. Are they going to use removal on this token? All right, we block. Okay, chillin'. Let's make a token, draw a card. Set a stop before their combat. They're gonna cut that down now. Okay. And a fortress. All right. They don't play anything else more powerful. We'll long goodbye their Preacher of the Schism. We'll do that now. Wonder what they're doing here. Are they gonna sacrifice it? No. How about another, they say? They played it pre combat, too. Kind of weird. Alright, Fortress, Wedding. Wouldn't be surprised to see any Ganjo destroy that, or tear, tear Sunder, sure. That gets rid of our card draw, but we do have tokens out the uh, out the ass here. Finally got our 
Next, uh, a double source of white here for Wandering Emperor. So if we want to, we can exile the Preacher of the Schism after they attack us with it. We could double block it too. Kind of... You know... A Cottage in. Alright. Food token. Um... We're going to try to double block and kill their land. That works for me. Yeah. Why not? Why not all the weddings? You can have more than one wedding, you know. You don't have to stay, you know, you have to stay married to the same person. You can have three weddings in one two-minute period. It's not really illegal as long as you cancel the first one before you do the second one and then you know that way with the third let's see if they play any good creatures so we can just like deadly cover up and kill them all otherwise the token army will continue they destroyed their stuff they're gonna grab two oh a deep cavern bat and a preacher Okay. So we can expect them to play both of them. Right? Here comes the bat. Resolve. Take whatever you want. Just know that there's two emperors. So they're going to probably take a deadly cover up. It's like an emperor. They got to know that we're getting that emperor back, right? A little card advantage from the Dread Knight. Preacher. There's a 4-4. Four, four. Let's go 4 here. We've got the edge in this fight. We have blood to spare. Taking it. One away from Toxrel. What are they going to do here? Preacher and Bat. Okay, sacrifice you. What are you going to do? Gonna kill that in response to the block. Oh boy. Alright. I think it might be time for a Mirex token plus Fortress. We've got two blockers, both three twos. We make a token here, which is a four four. Yeah, four four. Fortress is just going to be massive. It's going to be a uh, three, two, three, four, seven. That drains them, so they go to ten. They block two of these. I think that's enough. Oh, they have a food token. All right. Well, they have that food token. They're not going to die anyway. We'll go in like this. Oh, they still died. All right. Good game.
Okay, we're going first. Lands look great. Removal looks great. Wandering Emperor. Yeah, sure. We can keep this against basically anything that is not full-on control. Whenever you gain a life, creature comes in, you gain a life. To solve, gain five or more life. When it's solved, sacrifice it. Creature cards in your graveyard. Cast, you can gray it. cast it from your graveyard until the turn. All right, got it. Um, do we want to destroy evil on that? Probably not yet. See what else they've got going on. 2-2, two, two, ward pay three life. When you gain life, it explores, then destroy all other creatures. All right. Getting a little bit crazy. Let me get rid of that. Ward pay three life. So long goodbye can kill that without having to pay three life because it can't be countered. Okay. Uh, do I kill that now? I decline and still dies. Return two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Can't attack for as long as you... Okay. That's great. All right. So we made the right call because they're going to bring back Amalia uh, Benavidez Aguirre. And we're going to no witnesses and destroy all their stuff. And they've got another one on top. Into the graveyard it goes. Because they think it's safe. It is not safe. Plus one on nothing. Remember your training. Start to me. Voice of the Blessed. No life gain, though. Ooh, there's some life gain. Hmm. Do 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 do. Let's go restoration. Grab a planes. Thin the deck out a little bit. Create a two two. Let's long goodbye this away now, before they have any like hex proof or anything like that. You know, just kill it. One, two, three, four, five. Another one. Five mana, one clue token. Discard. Do we have anything? We don't. Decline. Okay, we attack. Chill. When it's in his battlefield, the one target creature gets a minus X minus X or X the amount of life you gain this turn, which is three. Let's get to kill one of our tokens. Really could use it, Takashi is welcome right now. Um, let's do this. Get the Vein Ripper in the hand. Very good. We're going to block.
Okay, we're gonna go Soren. So if they get down that Virtue of Persistence, they get to bring something back every turn. We don't have anything worth bringing back, and they have all little stuff. So, <clears throat> both at Sorin. Comes in to kill our architect. That's a good move. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we have on the top. Reveal it. Ah, got there with the Vein Ripper. What's up, Karlov Manor? We're going first. Fortress, Cave, Swamp. Takashi is welcome. Restoration, no witnesses. These welcomes are going to take a while to, uh, to pay off. This is a risky keep, but that's fine. Because we don't have anything that makes tokens right off the bat. We have a lot of stuff in the deck. So we have Wedding Announcements, Wandering Emperors, Sword and the Mirthless, Sanctuary Warden. That's later. Cacophony Scamp. When it deals combat damage to a player, sacrifice it. When you do proliferate, when it dies, deals damage equal to its power to any target. All right. Sounds good. We have a new turn three here. Instead of a Takashi is welcome that's not going to do anything for us right now, we're going to go Celestis, ramp ourselves a little bit, hopefully draw another land. Because they are... They are Rakdos aggro. I'd expect a Gix to come down here. If a Gix comes down next turn, you have to subscribe. That's the deal. Alright? <laughs> no, you don't have to. But... Um, change... Uh, let's see. We got a Mirax next turn. Alright, we'll go Celestis. If a Gix comes down, you gotta hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Ooh, face down card. 2-2, two, two, Ward 2. Proliferate. Hmm. What could this be? What could that be? I think we need to stop the bleeding. I think it's time to wipe. If a Gix does come down or something like that, we don't want them drawing like two or three cards. We just need to wipe. What was it? Pyrotechnic Performer. When it or another creature controls turn face up, that creature deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. I see. Another face down card. Grab a planes. Creature. Enchantment creature. We can destroy evil on that if we want to. Still at a pretty healthy 15 life. Another face down card. Okay. Plenty of sweepers in here. Just kind of need to draw them. Let's kill that.
Well, discard the planes. Bring that back. Bring this in. This is three. If it's night, it becomes day. Yeah, we'll do it. A farewell. Yep, we'll get rid of it. Kashi is welcome for that. All right. Feeling pretty good about having the farewell. Bring it in. Hit for three. This can hit for, provided this is another one of these. Oh, my lord. That was cool. That was a cool deck. That was the Hunted Bone Brew. That was a 6-2. All right, good game. That was cool.